W Radio, your information station. We are back with Peter Ritchie from Walt Disney Imagineering, standing in front of what looks like an ordinary piece of art, but it is not what it seems to be. Peter, tell us a little bit about the enchanted art on the Disney Dream. Well, behind me you see a, a piece of artwork, just like you said, but you know, we don't want to just leave anything ordinary on our Disney cruise ships. So what we decided to do was create a magical experience for our guests that anybody that comes and just is admiring certain pieces of artwork, those pieces of art come to life. So yeah, with the event, with the Enchanted Art, we also took an opportunity to create a game for our guests. So we have something that we call the Midship Protective Agency. And we have a kiosk down on Deck 5 Midship where you can go and sign up for the detective game. And they actually give you a detective's card and a map. And it's like an electronic treasure hunt. And you go searching for clues to discover. I'm not going to give away all the secrets, but you have to discover your way through the ship in order to find the end result of our game. It's a really fun thing. And, and kids love it. And I'm finding adults are enjoying playing it as well. And it's really a great family experience. You know, and the art itself is one of the many surprises that new visitors and, and guests who've maybe been on the Magic and Wonder before experience throughout the, uh, the entire ship. There's 22 pieces of enchanted art? Exactly. There's 22 pieces of art among, you know, probably a few hundred that are <laughs> scattered around the ship. And uh, of those, we use about 11 of those for our adventure game, the Midship Detective Agency. And one of the fun things is, is that I've been told that a lot of the younger children are now going home and waving <laughs> or standing in front of their artwork in their houses and wondering, asking mom or dad, how come my picture doesn't come talk to me? Peter, do us a favor, show us how this piece of enchanted art, we're obviously on the sports deck, uh, everything is themed so very well to Goofy and his sports. So it's appropriate we find a picture of Goofy golfing here. Show us how this piece of enchanted art works. Absolutely. Well, our guests are normally just going to walk and stand in front of the artwork, and they're going to probably take a look at it, and within a few seconds, it comes to life. <laughs> so as you can see, there's just a little magical moment scattered throughout the ship, and we've worked really hard to create it so that it doesn't look like just a digital display sign of some kind. Every frame is themed to match the frames corresponding in other parts of the areas. There's built-in technology such as speakers and obviously a video monitor and a lot of Disney magic and pixie dust behind the scenes that uh, nobody ever gets to see. But we're glad with that we can share this with you. Yeah, it's, uh, again, it's a surprise because it's not just animated, but for some there's music, there's sound effects. Uh, and what I love to see too is in keeping with the theme of the ship, it's modern technology with a throwback to classic Disney animated cartoons. Oh, absolutely. And not only that, if you go down on deck 11, or deck 4 of the ship, you'll also find a couple of really great photos of Walt Disney that come to life as well, with uh, uh, Walt drawings and pictures of Mickey, and a few other things that, again, I'll leave those as the magic for you to discover. And Peter, is it, was this a technology that was developed by WEI specifically for the dream, or something that we might start seeing throughout the parks and resorts? Well, what quite often happens, we have a blue sky process where we develop ideas and see what even is feasible to do. So this is a first of its kind uh, for the Disney company to produce Enchanted Art, but uh, we've had quite a number of inquiries from our other partners and <laughs> resorts and other projects. Just, how did you do that? And, and that's what we do. We brainstorm, we create, and then we share those ideas around the whole world, basically, in every property that we own. It's nice to know people from the Parks and Resorts are asking, how did you do that? Because that's what we as guests are walking up to these and saying, how do they do that? Because if you look closely, it does not look to be a plasma or LED screen. It looks like it's a piece of canvas art, you know, that, that's so bright and then just comes to life. Uh, I don't want to know how you did it. Um, I'm just, we're just happy that you did. Well, you know, it's an interesting process and the, the technology is out there to do anything. You just have to find the right people and put together the right parts to, to get what you want to do. And, and that's what, as innovators at Walt Disney Imagineering, we do. We have a great R&D department that researches and develops so many special projects. Enchanted Art's just one of those on the ship that's the first of its kind. We have the Magic Play for in the kid spaces, which is the same thing. It's never been done by anybody before, taking the various parts and pieces. It's actually something that we're getting patented right now because it's the first of the kind. So if I can ask you, just out of curiosity, you know, it's a chicken and the egg question. Does the idea for moving art and, a, and an interactive floor come first, or it's, we've just developed this amazing technology, here's how we can integrate it into the ship? Well, you know, it, 
it could be either way. It, it, it is the chicken and the egg question. Sometimes we're not even sure if the idea preceded the technology or we had uh, the technology said, I know what I can do with this. It, it, I think it really is both ways. I'm sure there's a, if we can dream it, do it slogan in there somewhere. So uh, Peter, <laughs> Peter Ritchie from Walt Disney Imagineering, again, uh, incredi incredibly impressive technology enhancing the guest experience, uh, oftentimes when we least expect it here on the Disney Dream. Well, thank you.